I'm sure most of you have seen a campground bathroom. Some of them are just a metal shed with a cover. Not this one. This is pure luxury. Look at this. And clean. Look at this little golf ball dents. I just got out of the shower. I had to go get my phone. Clean. You feel like you're in a home and it smells like you just walked into a home. Good job, North Dakota State Park. This is Turtle River. I don't know if they're all like this, but if they are, North Dakota, I applaud you. Good job, way to take care of your visitors. Another way to get water is when it's cloudy and rainy, put your bucket outside great shower water you can even drink it that is pure fresh clean water so how am I gonna take a shower no public showers here I am in a national campground can't use my awning to hang a shower curtain because this is some paved rock and I got an in camping spot but right over there is tank campers so this is how you do it. I'm warming my water, as you can see. Open my front door. I stand right here. And we can see, put a bungee cord. Hook it to that. Right. Got this. I just grabbed the cheap white one. I'm going to clip you that up. <laughs> so this is what it looks like on the inside. And that's what it looks like from the outside. I don't know how well you can see this. But I do keep my dress on. So I started the pump, worked my way down. So on and so on, and then I wash my private property. So I'm gonna shut the door, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, one thing you'll find is your feet will always be dirty. Yes, you could leave a, a bucket of water outside the door. Wash your feet at night, take your shoes off. Not so much for me. So this is what I do after my shower. I put my feet in and give them a good rinsing. They're filthy. And then this little toothbrush. And I scrub around the toes and the ankles, the heel. You get the picture. And I have nice, clean toes. Now, my shoes are always dirty. These are the cheap plastic Crocs. So this is what I do when I'm done with that water. Let them air dry. And now I have clean shoes. Well, I'm sitting out here, kind of way out, and charging my solar. You can see it right 
there on my windshield on the outside. So I wanted to get this video out. So this is another thing I use is baby wipes. Um, they don't really get you super clean, but I do wash my face with it every morning, every night. Um, and just around the neck, kind of brush it through my hair. A uh, lady I ran into, we were talking, she said Assure or Assurance, they're big cloths, they do a whole body, they have, they're wet and they have soap in them, but you don't have to wash it off. So I'm going to check into that because that sounds like something that would be really great to have. They're back by the bladder control um, at your big box. So I thought I would come out and tell you about that. And then I'll show you how I take an outdoor shower. The one just a little bit ago was I consider an outdoor bath. Well, I'm sitting out here. Kind of way out and charging my solar. You can see it right there on my windshield on the outside. So I wanted to get this video out. So this is another thing I use is baby wipes. Um, they don't really get you super clean, but I do wash my face with it every morning, every night. Um, and just around the neck, kind of brush it through my hair. A uh, lady I ran into, we were talking, she said Assure or Assurance, they're big cloths, they do a whole body, they have, they're wet and they have soap in them, but you don't have to wash it off. So I'm going to check into that, because that sounds like something that would be really great to have. They're back by the bladder control. Um, at your big box. So, I thought I would come out and tell you about that. And then I'll show you how I take an outdoor shower. The one just a little bit ago was I consider an outdoor bath. Okay, where would I be if I was a USB charge shower head? I've checked this cavern, checked under the bed, Checked under the seat, I have checked these baskets, the little cubbies, I took the blue tarp out, check that. I'm thinking maybe I left it at my daughter's. Anyway, so how I do it, because I had a shower, a solar shower bag too, that I put on the top of my car and heat the water so I didn't have to use my propane. So, don't know where it is. I just spent the last 45 minutes looking. So I copied um, what's close to what I got. I did buy it at Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks. Works great. And then what I do is take my tarp out and hang shower curtains around that and just, I use that blue bucket that I was bathing my feet in. And that's where the water recycles. Now, I did a video, but I since lost it. When I first got that back in November, and remember I started being on the road at the end of December, I did a video on how many gallons the average shower uses and if I remember right it was like 20 gallons of water. This you recycle the water. It goes through the shower head into the bucket and yeah you are kind of showering with your own water but when you're out boondocking for six, seven, two weeks any kind of shower is good. Um, I really like it. Um, I use the bath with the bucket more than I do the shower. Um, it's an easier setup. And I 
you know where the bucket is all the time and I dumped the shower head. But it's USB charged, so I can charge it while I'm driving. And I do know where the remote to it is. In fact, I can show you that. It's right down in here, in this junk pile of cords and smokes and Here's this, and then the cord's down there. So you just push that button to start it. Push that button to stop the flow of water. It's great. Yes, my front door needs vacuumed, as most of the van does. So, however you stay clean, it doesn't matter as long as you stay clean. Um, that was a huge thing with me. I was like, oh, I gotta be clean. Um, and I found out it's not as hard. And what I'm enjoying is in the last five days to do dishes, to wash my clothes out by hand, to take a bath every day, to wash up. I have only used seven gallons of water. So I'm saving some of our natural resources, which I didn't think was important to me, but I'm finding out, yeah, it's very important to me you want to see my face well here it is um so i just wanted to come out on this because the people are like how do you stay clean um oops sorry i didn't mean to do that um and it is important to stay clean it's not the most conventional way and when i finally get to a hot shower i am gonna appreciate it because it'll be about two two and a half weeks um so looking forward to turning on a hot faucet spending about a half an hour in there but nice thing about it you can take one of these baths i've gotten where i can almost do it in a fairly deserted parking lot and nobody even notices um so you get very good at stuff like that so this video I know is kind of a hodgepodge. I try so hard to do a good editing, a good video, and then it's like, ugh, ugh. Um, so those that are watching and working through all the kinks, I really appreciate that. I am still working on the video, um, editing and getting better with the camera. One of the things though, travel videos. I'm going to start doing more of those because the people that enjoy that. And that's that's my passion. Um, I know you're curious about living in a van and my day-to-day -day routine. And I'm more than happy to share that with you. But the whole reason I do this is for the traveling and seeing the beauty of the United States. Um, and those videos will probably be a lot more enjoyable to watch because I enjoy filming and doing photography with nature. Um, so, anyway, that being said, I want to wish you all a very safe, family-filled, travel-filled, loved-filled Labor Day weekend. Thank you to all of the park attendants, park rangers, anybody that takes care of our natural beauty hats off to you thanks to our service people uh, the retail workers the lumber people the gas station attendants the doctors and nurses the IT people the semi fabricators the retail put in box and ship out to you and retail management, fast food. Um, there's so many people to thank. You guys are amazing. You keep this country going. Oh, our truck drivers. Um, and I thank you for working so hard. Uh, because everything you all do is making my life so much easier out here in this beautiful world of ours. So travel free, travel safe. Stay fan, stay fantastic. I can't do it. There we go. Okay, apparently the wig's on too tight. Catch you next time.